Hello everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we will be looking at Double Piston Extenders for the Bedrock Edition. As you can see, I am standing right on top of a standard horizontal double piston extender, and in the background you can see we have two vertical piston extenders, one that goes up and one that goes down. Today, we will be looking at how to build all three of these. Many of us are familiar with Redstone in the Java Edition. But because this is Bedrock Edition, there is a slight difference and the redstone runs a little bit slower. So in Java Edition, to make a double piston extender, we would have this 240 rule as you see right in front of me. That means this repeater is set to 2 ticks, this one is set to 4, and then we have no ticks running into this block here. So if this was Java Edition, we would get our full extension and then we would get a full retraction. But this is Bedrock Edition and thankfully there is a solution to that. Because redstone is a little bit slower, all we do is add more delay. So instead of the 240 rule, we are going to follow the 480 rule. Which means here, now we have repeaters set to 4 ticks, and here we have two repeaters, both set to 4 ticks, and then we have no ticks running into this block here. So if we try this out, you can see we get a full extension, and then we also get a full retraction. Now, if you're not too familiar with double piston extenders and how they work, Momo Jumbo did an amazing job explaining on the mechanics of how all of this works. So I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description below to that video. Today we are going to be building this here, and then also these two vertical piston double piston extenders right here, one that's going to go up and one that's going to go down. All we are going to need is three repeaters, redstone, two sticky pistons, a handful of blocks, and a lever, and those are all the supplies we're going to need for today. Even though we have the double piston extender set off to the left, I'm going to go ahead and build it again just so you can see it, and I'm also going to color coordinate it because once I set up the colors, it's what we're going to be using for the rest of the tutorial, as you can see over there. So for the 4 tick delay, we are going to use orange, like that, and for the 8 tick delay, we're going to use blue. And for the zero ticks, we are going to use green. So now that we have that set up and established, let's go ahead and set that to four, set that to four, set that to four. So we have eight. Line up some redstone just like this. Get a lever. And then let's go ahead and throw in some sticky pistons. Just like that. And then we're going to set up our block. So let's go ahead and test that. Like I said, I just want to establish some sort of coordination to this thing, so visually it will be a little bit easier to understand. Now that we have that established, let's go ahead and make a quick build with this horizontal double piston extender. So what I want to do is come over here, I'm going to make a three wide wall, just like that. Set up our double piston extender, right here, and break that, and then we can finish the rest of our wall. Now as I mentioned, Green will represent zero, which will always run into the block here. So for this part, we can go ahead and put a green block right there. And this is where our power source is gonna be. Now we wanna set up this piston here in the back, which is always gonna be four ticks. And we can go ahead and put a repeater here and set that to four. Now the last thing we have to do is wire up this one. So to keep things nice and tight, we can put a block here and then just wrap it around like that. And for this, we are actually going to be using the 4 tick from this one to also run into this one. So we place another repeater here, set that to 4 ticks, and then we just run redstone along the back. Now you will notice this redstone here is powering that, but for this build, it is not affecting it at all. You can see the extension and the retraction, but if we want to be safe, we can always break this out. Throw down a repeater, as is break this and then put a block right there and you'll notice we still get the same result so for a quick little top view it'll look a little something like that next on the list is the upwards vertical double piston extender so if we flip this over right here we can see it goes up we get our extension and then if we turn it off we get our retraction and you can see we keep things nice and tight and also we have everything color coordinated so to build this, we come over here, I have a place holding a block, I'm going to come 
two sticky pistons up like this with a block on top. I can go ahead and break that. As I mentioned, the back piston is always going to be the four ticks, represented by orange. So we're going to go ahead and run it just like that. This piston is going to be powered by eight ticks, which is represented by blue for this tutorial. And then the block, as I mentioned, is going to be run by the green one. So we can go ahead and do that, break this block. So nice and compact. Let's go ahead and get a repeater, put it down here, set this to four ticks, line that with redstone. You can see it runs into this block here, powering the bottom piston. And then for this one here, this is going to be our eight tick delay. So we do our two repeaters, both set to four ticks, put some redstone, and then since this is zero, we just go ahead and line up our redstone like that. And then we test it out. Put a lever down, we see, we get our extension, and then we get the retraction. And finally, we have the downwards facing vertical double piston extender. So if we flip our lever, you can see we get the double extension there, and then we also get our retraction. The setup here is going to be the exact same, except our wiring is going to be flipped as represented by the color change. So if we come over here to build this, we come to this placement block, we come two sticky pistons down with a block right here on the face. I'm going to break that since this one is now the back piston, this is going to be the four tick. So we can go ahead and line it up like this, break this one out. This is the same, this is going to be our eight tick delay, so we give it the blue. And then finally, on this block, as I mentioned, is always going to be zero ticks, which in this tutorial is represented by our green. So we can go ahead and wire that up. And let's go ahead and put in our repeaters, four ticks. And then this is going to be our eight tick delay. Then let's wire the rest of it up with redstone. And now we put a lever right here and test it out. And you can see we get our double extension and then we get our retraction. For this tutorial, I realized I place a major emphasis on coordinating the redstone, but that is because as you start making more complicated builds, it's best to keep tabs of where all the redstone is going, especially when there's multiple things controlling one mechanism. In this case, we have three lines controlling our double piston extender. For this example that I have right here, I ran all the wiring going in different directions, but because they're all color coordinated, you can see where they're all going. There's our four tick, our eight tick, and our zero tick. So if we test that, you can see everything works and everything goes back to where it should. Just good practice to have and something I highly recommend. With that, that is the end of our tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just broke that. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. See you later.